What's up y'all? Today I'm going to teach you how to spin off axis on your wakeboard behind the boat. I'm not gonna go step by step through this entire tutorial, but I think it might be better for me to just kind of give you guys some tips on how to do it. I'm gonna go over the toe side off axis 540 and also the heel side off axis 360. For the toe side off axis 540, the tricks you probably already wanna know how to do are a scarecrow and also a normal standard toe side wake to wake 540. And for the heel side off axis 360, a heel side back roll and the standard flat spin heel side 360. If you know how to do all of these tricks, it will make those two tricks off axis a lot easier. Another trick that could be very helpful is actually the Rayleigh. It's definitely not necessary to learn these tricks, but if you do know how to do a Rayleigh, it does help you learn how to maintain line tension, and that is something that's very useful whenever you are spinning off axis. We can just start with the toe side off axis 540. I do find this to be the easiest off axis spin. The approach you wanna take in towards the wake is very similar to a scarecrow, and also the toe side 540 is gonna be sort of a hybrid taking off the top of the wake kind of so you're going to hit that wake and do sort of a tripping motion like a scarecrow but also kind of trying to maintain slightly flat like your toe side five so you're going to do that sort of tripping motion like the scarecrow but you'll drop that front hand immediately while also taking this rear hand maintaining that line tension while also pulling it down towards your hip so you can reach around with that front hand grab that handle let that board drift out behind you and you can continue pulling this handle all the way around your body back to that other hip again until you're back with your switch foot in front again. You can just bend those knees on impact and just ride away. And as for the heel side front side 360, the approach is gonna be pretty similar to a heel side back roll while also similar to the heel side front side 360 flat spin. And you're gonna try and hybrid these kind of two tricks together. So as you're taking off of the wake, you're almost gonna do that same scooping motion as the back roll, but you will drop that front hand and start taking this rear hand and pulling it to your rear hip to really get that front side 360 motion initiated. And since that handle is now at your hip, you can start reaching with that other hand all the way around your body so you can grab it and you can let yourself come all the way around just like you sort of would on a back roll, but your board is sort of just drifting out behind you. You'll come all the way around on that 360 and make sure you maintain that line tension with this hand. You can pull your board back down under you, bend your knees on impact and ride away. Basically on both of these tricks, it's just letting your board kind of drift out behind you during it while maintaining line tension. Make sure no matter which hand the handle is in, maintain that line tension. You can use that handle to bring your board back underneath you whenever you'd like. Sometimes whenever I see people sort of making mistakes, trying to learn how to spin off axis, the thing I see people sort of messing up with most is trying to kind of let the board halfway drift out or try and go a slight amount off axis and then go a little more and then a little more and then a little more. I personally think if you just let it go and trust that it's gonna work and just let that board drift out behind you, it will make this trick much easier because I do find it to be pretty difficult to do a slightly off axis three or a slightly off axis five and then work your way out. I think it's easier just to full on commit and uh, that will be extremely helpful. I personally find that spinning off axis can be extremely useful. It can also sort of hurt your riding as well, depending on how you do it. Um, someone that it is extremely useful for is someone like Mike Dowdy. He could be maybe the fastest spinner ever behind the boat. He has sort of the perfect axis. He's just slightly off axis and uses that wake to kind of trip him to get that extra pop and using that trip to also get his spin initiated. This guy can spin faster than probably anyone I've ever seen in real life. Anytime he has 
done maybe a 900 or a 1080 he's always had enough time for another 180 i personally think he is the fastest boat spinner of all time but also i think that spinning off axis can hurt you because if you spin way too off axis this might slow your spin down and kind of uh I don't know let the board get away from you instead of spinning on a tighter axis so it can slow your spins down if you spin too off axis so once you learn how to do it you can kind of try and tame it down or let it out more kind of figure out what works best for you but i do think this could be a very helpful tool to help you spin faster if needed if you don't want to spin fast you can spin off axis and figure out kind of cool grabs to go with it just to make it look cool Anyways, that's how you spin off axis. If you guys did like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. And remember, I'll be opening a wakeboarding video every second day forever. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.